Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going to the Abu Simbel Temple. We started early morning from Aswan and we took a bus which brought us to this place. From the bus stand, we took a three-wheeler which took us to the Abu Simbel temples. We have arrived. Two magnificent rock-cut temples. Unbelievable beauty. The left one belongs to Ramesses II, while the right one is dedicated to his wife Nefertari. It took us four hours to reach Abu Simbel from Aswan. The bus journey was lovely and we saw a beautiful sunrise on the way. Hi everybody, I'm at Abu Simbel temple in Egypt and we came by a bus from Aswan and we reached here just now and we're about to enter this temple and there is another temple over there you can see it's another temple over there and I would like to say a word of thank for my friend over here who's holding the gimbal for me bye bye take care keep you updated later Abu Simbel is a historical site comprising of two massive rock cut temples in the village of Abu Simbel in Upper Egypt near the border with Sudan near Aswan. It is situated on the western bank of Lake Nasir about 230 kilometers southwest of Aswan. The twin temples were originally curved out of the mountainside in the 13th century BC during the 19th dynasty reign of Pharaoh Ramesses II. Their huge external rock relief figures of Ramesses II have become iconic. His wife Nefertari and children can be seen in smaller figures by his feet. Sculptures inside the great temple commemorate Ramesses II's historic leadership at the Battle of Kadesh. All these four sitting figures are sentries and they are all statues of Ramesses II. This is the entrance in the middle. You can see the huge rush, the swelling crowd eagerly waiting to get inside. The huge figures are so big and awe-inspiring. We are now entering the Grand Temple, which stands 30 meters high and 35 meters long, featuring four seated colossal statues at the entrance of King Ramesses II on his throne. There is another temple beside this, which is smaller in size and which is dedicated to Nefertari. Ramesses II's favorite wife. We are now entering the Great Temple. The temple was also dedicated to the sun gods Amon, Ptah, and Rahurakti. There are many chambers inside the temple. There are eight huge pillars depicting Ramesses linked to the god Osiris. Abu Simbel Temple is the second largest after the Great Pyramids of the Giza. This is the ceiling of the Abu Simbel Temple painted with artworks and winged vultures.
Here, on a black wall, are rock-cut sculptures of four seated figures, Rahurakti, the deified king Ramesses, and the gods Amun-Ra and Ta. Rahurakti, Amun-Ra and Ta were the main divinities in that period. It is believed that the axis of the temple was positioned by the ancient Egyptian architects in such a way that on October 22nd and February 22nd the rays of the sun would penetrate the sanctuary and illuminate the sculptures on the back wall except for the statue of Ta, a god connected with the death who always remained in the darkness. People gather at Abu Simple on these days to witness this. Now we are just outside the Ramesses temple which was built by Ramesses II, the greatest pharaoh of all time. Okay. Ever. During the construction of Ashwandam it was totally submerged and oh. it was restored by the help of UNESCO. Okay. During 1970s. Action. Yeah, hello everybody. We have come here to see uh, the temple of uh, Abu Simbel. This is right there. Is, uh, we have entered there into the temple. It's very nice. And now we are in the queue uh, to enter the temple. By the side of Nile. Yeah. Yeah, the water is so blue, time. isn't it? Yeah, this is beautiful. Very beautiful. We are having a wonderful time here. Yes, and surely the we are. Too is so uh, jovial. We are enjoying everybody. Like Wish we could have spent another four hours over yeah, here. Sure. Yeah, sure. This is exactly. Bye bye. We have now entered the smaller temple, which is the temple of Hathor and Nefertari. And it was built about 100 meters northeast of the temple of Ramesses II and was dedicated to the goddess Hathor and Ramesses II's chief consort Nefertari, his most favorite wife among his many wives. This was the second time in ancient Egyptian history that a temple was dedicated to a queen. The first time Akhenaten dedicated a temple to his great royal wife Nefertiti. The rock cut facade is decorated with two groups of colossi that are separated by a large gateway. Just as the larger temple, there is a hypostyle hall supported by six pillars. After seeing the Abu Simbel temples, we again started our journey and we are now about to go to the Aswan High Dam. The asphalt road ahead of us was beautiful and it reminded me of Ladakh, I don't know why. The Aswan Dam or more specifically the Aswan High Dam is one of the world's largest embankment dams which was built across the Nile in between 1960 and 70. Photography is prohibited so I just took some pictures just a little bit ahead of the dam. I'm at Aswan Dam right now. Aswan Dam on the river Nile. It's the biggest dam of uh, third largest dam of the world. And there is a catchment. That's all for now in this video. See you again in my next video. If you have liked this video, please do not forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please consider subscribing to my channel and press that bell icon for receiving notifications. Bye bye. Take care.